Hey guys, good afternoon. Uh, today we're at the University of Florida Gulf Coast Research Center and I'm Chris and this is our hops field. So we're gonna go over a few things, uh, some tools you need and some of the steps we take out here to make it a little easier. Uh, we're gonna go over some of the tools that we use to install twines in our hops field. Um, big thing we use is a hop clip applicator and it's pretty straightforward. Um, inside this tool, we use something called a W-clip that holds the twines in place underground. Uh, one thing to remember with this tool is that there's two different manufacturers, the W-clips will be different. So uh, it'll be a lot, lot less trouble on you if you make sure you got the right clips for your applicator. As we're moving through the field, I think it's helpful to have a bag with a bunch of extra ones on you because that'll go quick. Uh, if you have to, it saves you a bend over at every hole, so it's a it's a good move. And this, these are the twines we use up and down from our trellis. So we hang the tops first, and then from there we measure, make sure we're on top of our planting space, and we use a hop clip applicator to drive them in. Oh. This is compressed coconut husk, and it's pretty durable. I think each one holds up to about 75, 80 pounds. Um, on top of that, they come dry. If you try to work with them dry, they knot up a lot worse. Uh, one thing, one season we dip the tips in water for 20, like 24 hours and it helped, but the next season we dip the whole thing in the water for 24 hours and that made a big difference. So consider soaking your twines first. When we hang our twines, we keep the top spacings all a certain length. So we developed a tool that measures a few spots at a time. It'll save you a lot of readjustments, maybe three or four spots at a time is a good measurement. The knot we use in our field is called a cow hitch knot. The benefits to using this one is it's pretty easy to tie. And it's also pretty easy to untie if you have to make a repair. You can tie the knot with either one or two hands, but I would recommend trying to learn with two because you'll save a lot of time. We found that a, another benefit to pre-soaking the twine is that the rope becomes heavier and returns back to your hands much easier. Here's a closer look at the W clips we use. And one of the things we talked about earlier is you wanna get the W clip that fits your tool because if they fall out, it's pretty frustrating. Uh, it's pretty easy to grab the wrong twines above your planting space, especially when the wind's blowing. Uh, that's another benefit of wet twines. They hang a little bit lower in the sky. So may, you may have to use your applicator to grab your twines. There's a, really only a couple things to pay attention to here. We were lucky enough to have ground cover that had a really good distance for us. So we measure the planting space where we want to put it, measure out to the blue line. But for you guys, the only distance that matters is you, beneath the foot pedal and the bottom of the tool. So you'll get good, at first it's awkward keeping the twine in, but you'll get good at that part. But it, it'll let you bend over for less amount of time by holding onto the twine as you stand up. And by choosing the proper location of the W clip, it'll let you push the W clip deep enough into the ground without running out of tool uh, to adjust the tension. And you check them, make sure the tension's good, and the pull slides right out. In one of our experiments, we're testing two different trellis designs. The trellis on the left is a single trellis, and the trellis on the right is our V trellis. So the main difference between the trellises is the single trellis has two twines per hill and the V trellis has four twines per hill. The V trellis uses growing space more efficiently and can produce higher yields than the straight trellis, but it requires more twines and labor. We're currently collecting the cost and labor information for each trellis to determine which trellis design is the most cost effective. Another important aspect of uh, your twine installation is the, having the proper tension. So without the proper tension, as the season comes, goes along and the vines get heavier, they start to sag. And during that sagging, you won't be able to mow or it'll be a lot more dangerous to spray herbicide. And also when you come, when it's time for harvest, it, they're a lot easier to judge where they're at and find them in. Another thing is also if they're too loose, it can damage the growing tips. So, so we don't want to do that. So when we hang our twines, we try to make sure that we are finished with our twine installation before we start our irrigation again. So, so uh, yeah, make sure that you do that before they're long. Otherwise you end up damaging a lot of the growing tips. 
Hey guys, so to sum it all up, in song your time pro properly is very important. It allows for a like, easier harvest and also much easier field maintenance. Um, thank you very much for watching.